thrilled to have here in person one of our favorite actors from USA Network's The Sinner, currently in season four, Wednesdays at 10 Eastern Time on USA Network. Bill Pullman, how are you, sir? Good to see you. Good to see you, Rich. Good to be here. You got it. We are, uh, all of us, we just, I don't know if you heard it back in the green room, we named like about ha half of uh, our favorite film list, and you're in all of them. Oh, pretty much. good. Pretty much. Good, good. Which one do you get whenever you're around? People walk up to you and give you what? Which film? You Is know, I, I, uh, it's a, it's I can I sometimes try to guess because you see okay. a look in their eye that they're coming towards you and they want to talk to you. You know, I go, yeah. is this a Casper person or is this a Independence Day person or is it a Why You're Sleeping person or yeah. is it a, a yeah. sinner? Now it's like sinner, okay. you know, because it's, great. It's, fortunately the mm -hmm. the thing had has had a life, you know. Uh -huh. But uh, and I'm always wrong. You're I'm wrong. always wrong. Okay. Yeah. I, I, lately I'm surprised at how many international people, like in New York City when I'm walking around, people mm -hmm. from all around the world what, happen to be able to get into the center. Okay. So I, you know, and they don't even remember or know that I'm in other things Come in on. the center. Come yeah. on. Come on. It's life rich. That's, that's the way though. it is. <laughs> that, but that's great though that you got, so, so what do you think has been so, um, you know, connective to your fans about the center? Like, what do you think has worked? From yeah, that, I Bill. I always was uh, I have, uh, not only a kind of illiterate about sports as I told you just yes. before we started I I have my own way into sports I should say because okay. I enjoy it but I don't follow the statistics and the this the same is true of television I not the best viewer of, of all my compadres who are out there working in television sure but I I just seem to have other things that I can't leave uh, and so but i i do think that uh, the idea of addicting television mm -hmm. you know people say i like that show i'm addicted to it mm -hmm. you know it mm -hmm. says something about the power of uh, a season mm -hmm. and then another season and another season and i realize that uh, i finally understand that you know and i and i'm okay with it sure <laughs> okay bill yeah. pullman here on the rich eisen show so you're from western new york right yes i learned a long time ago uh in my capacity of the host of nfl network to not call buffalo upstate new york because i'm from staten island new york yes to call buffalo upstate new york i was told by many bills fans that work around nfl network that that's a slight and i apologize because they of, like Western New York. It's what you're Western. You're not upstate. You're Western yeah. New York. So did you grow up around the Bills? Like was that uh, a team that was like forefront of, uh, yeah. of your life out there? Yeah, but uh, uh, the you know, and that's why it's not called Antelope. It, the city is called Buffalo. Mm -hmm. It is Western yes. <laughs> in like its that. own way. You know, yeah, sure. But I and I know what you mean about the the. The nature of the Bills and their connection to all of that area of New York State is mm -hmm. so important, I think, because uh, they have an identity complex. You know, we get forgotten out there by the Albany. That's mm -hmm. really east. Mm -hmm. And uh, Hudson Valley, uh, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people, if you say you're from New York, they'll immediately say, well, I don't hear your accent. You know? <laughs> and I, you know, in Western New York State, it's practically Ohio. Right. That people sound like Ohio. Right. They have country accents mm -hmm. and things like that. So the Bills, you know, uh, bring you together, the, you know, wings, barbecue wings. Sure. Uh, and watching the Bills is a cultural thing. You never so. tailgated? You never jumped off a, an RV into a flaming table <laughs> like the rest of the Bills fans? Bill <laughs> Pullman, you've never, you've never done that? Yeah, how serious they are. Yeah, they... Yeah. They got it, uh, but yeah, I I did, uh, uh, and I I just I like the apparel. Yeah, you sure. know, I think the buffalo signature. <laughs> it is pretty cool. cool. No, I I I know. I get and it. it had a dark, you know, I like the underdog thing. I mean, they that was such a long stretch where they didn't win. That's you exactly know? right. I know. Record breaking, right? How many do you know offhand? It Rich? was twenty five years until last year, Bill Pullman, oh. that the Buffalo Bills had not made the playoffs after that string of going to the Super Bowl four straight years and not winning and what have you. And I just loved when they. Bills got off the plane to, you know, make the AFC championship game and then lose it. And then the fans all showed up at the airport and went totally crazy. You know, yeah. They are really passionate. I remember going into my first tailgate at um, at a Buffalo Bills game 
um, covering it for NFL Network. I'm like, oh God, there's about three bonfires here. I'm like, oh God, You're like this is this this is lit, <laughs> literally and figuratively. Yeah, you know, everything lit up. It, it's so cool. I love it. it. Bill yeah. Pullman here on the Rich Eisen show. Okay, Bill, we have so first things first. You said that you could tell which person, which fan approaches you, what their favorite part of your filmography is. Can you you want to try that with me? Because I know I've mentioned a couple films already, but you want to yes. give, give it a whirl? Just well, look at me and see I, what I, I what I am. I, I liked. Well, I did over here. The last seduction is you yes. gave it a thumbs up, I and did. I thought Big time. that's always good when when someone goes for the noir and you I know. I went. I went <laughs> the other direction. Not your big pop tentpole films, correct? Yes. But yes. Um, that is not the one. The oh. one for me is Spaceballs. Oh, for real, because I am a Mel Brooks junkie that. <laughs> when it comes down to it. High anxiety, young Frankenstein, obviously the producers, Blazing Saddles. Uh, Mel Brooks is one of my favorites of all time. What was that like working with him? Wow. You know, I, did you see it first on screen or on I a saw VHS? It, I saw it on screen. On screen? I did. Oh, I man. went to the movie It was theater. 85, and yeah. you would have been like 15 or 14? No, or... I, I was, bless you 13. for that, actually. No, I was just about to go to college. I was, oh, yeah, I was oh, 18. Yeah. I was oh. about 17 years old. That's that like bless straight you. heroin. No cut. <laughs> 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 yes, for a Mel Brooks, you know, Jewish kid from New York who grew up loving Mel Brooks, man. It was just like, okay, so Mel Brooks meets Star wars i am all the way in. Right. i am well in. you know my uh, i i always loved and i do love that jewish side of him because it's old you know it's old vaudeville it's old uh, your, your show shows. Belts, that's you know. what it was i mean yeah, yeah like really. Sid caesar i mean you gotta be way back in the day man just so. yeah genetically it's in it's in him all the way and you know my wife is jewish and my my father-in-law al Kerwitz, you know, is always uh, has a certain sense of humor. But Mel used to come up to me and goes, Pullman, you guys. <laughs> you guys, that's what it said. <laughs> you have such good hair. I mean, I got hair. It's like, it's like Brillo. And you got such good hair. You know, and he touched me, you know. It's affection in a weird, wild way. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be the king. You yeah, know, it's kind it's of good like to that. be the king. Oh, and my God. What a genius. I mean, this, and I always think about him with Spaceballs in terms of the, po the power nap. Because mm -hmm. he would be, you know, he just said, say, I, I'm just going to go down for about five minutes. And he'd come up and... A thousand things had occurred to him. Are you serious? Yeah. Like he would just tap out and say, I need a, just a power nap, and then he would come back and then... Yeah. He said, we need to change that line. It needs to be not orange, but purple. Mm -hmm. Purple's funnier. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that, which sounded like wisdom to me. <laughs> it, it sounds like, well, I mean, he would know which color is funnier. Well, yeah. we, we have a bunch of questions from your career here. Uh, in Celebrity True or False, where these are from articles that have been written about you or from bios that have been placed online about you, and we need to know what's true and what's false, if mm. you don't mind. Okay, and we have production value on top of it. Bill Pullman live here in the Rich Eisen Show studio. Roll it, please. Roll it. Celebrity True or False. You can't handle the truth. All right, it's that simple. It's a, That's the setup. That's the setup, <laughs> that's Bill. The setup. That's all we got. We have no fireworks Did, did he say you can't handle the truth? That's it right there. Believe in that. Okay, here we go. So, um, this, uh, true or false, Bill Pullman, uh, when promoting Independence Day in South America, some people actually thought you were the real president of the United States. Is that true or false? Well, I, I, yeah, I think that they hadn't seen the movie yet, and they told they were told that I was pres the president of the United States. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> if you lose the word in the movie, mm -hmm. you know, or those words. It just becomes, you're the president of the United States. And uh, it kicked in some really interesting things and probably the most bizarre was they had kind of cigarette girls that were with little pillbox hats sure. and, uh, and short skirts and mm -hmm. everything. And they uh, l they walked down the red carpet with me. Mm -hmm. And I think I got that because I didn't know the presidents get that. <laughs> I thought that's a good deal. Uh, and I think it was because they thought I was the president. I don't know, maybe. But, uh, yeah, there was that uh, feeling. It was a good period. And then after people saw the movie, they realized, right. you're not the real president. <laughs> Is it true that, that 
scene with you with the bullhorn and rallying the troops to fight the aliens. That was one take, one and done. No, that's not true. That's yeah, not true. Not true. Yeah, I had never heard that. That's that, a true. That, that's, that's out there. Th- is that exactly what we were talking yeah, about? Yeah, right? yeah, Bill. We've heard that uh, you were just so into it, and everyone was just so caught up in the moment of the speech that it was one take, and they just had to reshoot kind of people's reactions. Oh man. Well, we did have to go fast, and it was late in the. It was early morning when we did it. You know, mm-hmm. it was like three or four in the morning or something. Yeah. But um, you know, with when you're dealing with a director like Roland Emmerich, you got masters, you got, you know, all that. I think what was was really improvisational about it was uh, kept, you know, and I realized that they probably used those early takes because, like, when the microphone didn't work and I had to kind of tap it uh-huh. and everything, that was kind of real. Okay. Yeah, so that was all, you know, happening, but... Um, I think I, I think I had a few whacks at it. You know, you have to be ready to sustain. I love the mythology of I did it in one take. Yes, sir. <laughs> right. Well, I like to refer I, to I it wish, as one I, take Richie. That's the way I refer to myself sometimes on this, uh, on this show. Why yes. not? So that that is the mythology of it, I guess. And and so um, for, for is it also true that you're asked as Bill Pullman to be the president of the United States again and that voice and just do all sorts of crazy stuff. Is that true as it's, well? Uh, You're yeah. asked of that all the time. It's, uh, there's just, uh, it's somehow buried in people. But then you realize maybe they want me to go, I don't need to do that. But do you know the speech? And then they'll perform the whole speech for you. Is that right? Yeah. I've had that probably 10 times, <laughs> you know, where I've actually said, do you know? I had some inkling, you know. And yeah, I had to do it for my. And they want, they were ho- hoping that I would get to see them do it, you mm-hmm. know, which is, I like that better than me having to. You want me to do the speech yes, now? Because it's that good. <laughs> Am I a dog with a bone? <laughs> it's that good. It yeah, is that yeah, good. Yeah, you know, yeah, like it was. You rallied the troops really the tr- against the aliens. You saved the planet. That's right, right. I mean, do you want me to do it right now? I mean, I can, <laughs> okay. I mean, I can do it right can now. You, can you really do it right now? I have the text. Do it okay, no, no, no. Oh, that's man. not the same. That's not the same. <laughs> you, just, you can't Google it with Bill Pullman sitting here, It's Chris. too late. I've already All right. Uh, here's the next one. True or false, Bill Pullman, you still have the jacket you wore and while you were sleeping. Is that true or false? That is true. Where is yes. the, where's the jacket? I, you know... It would imply it's not that. Is it that jacket? I've, no, it's um, it's a different. it's a reversible jacket, and it has denim on one side uh-huh. and and a kind of a tan on the other. That's so I I don't want you to get the feeling, Rich, that I have a lot of stuff from my movies in okay. my house. That's you know okay. that would be a little weird. And <laughs> but I do have probably more than a normal person does. But I I do. Uh, for some reason, I was always digging the reversible idea you know, uh, of jackets and clothes and stuff. that It's okay. gone out of fashion, I think. So <laughs> you kept it not for some sort of, uh, I guess, memento keepsake, but you kind of like the it's jacket. It's in the closet. It becomes, no, you, nobody sees me wearing it and goes, is that from, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so you stole never it, catch on. You stole it while wardrobe was sleeping, or they knew that you took it. That's Is right. That what, well, was, what was it? Disney was a little more free with them with their <laughs> goods in those days. You know, it was Bona Vista, which owned by Disney, I guess. But it was right. Uh, yeah, I made off with it, which was really good. I I did. You know, Turtle Hob is. A, you know, I love yeah. that you are uh, friends him. with him. Yes, he, he's one of the great uh, mm-hmm. per people and directors. I agree. I agree. And yeah. just my, my wife, when I told her you were going to be on this show, that's the first movie that blurted out of her mouth. She will watch. That's a rewatchable for her Yeah, all the time. I, I've seen that movie a lot on the TV. I'm like, again? You know, like that's that's <laughs> yeah. that's what happens in my house a lot. I, I wonder if John watches it again. I, <laughs> I think if John's wondering anything, he's where the hell did that reversible jacket go? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I, know. I wanted it for, you know, I wanted it. I wanted it for, you know, national treasure, and we couldn't use it because, um, you know, it's pretty cool, man. That So do you, are you surprised about the staying power of that film for you, Bill? Yeah, yeah, that was really not, uh, uh, you know, I think even John said it on the last day of the shoot, you know, he said, I don't know whether anybody's ever going to see, it's, if this is not, might not, this movie goes away, you know. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but I want to 
say that it's been really significant for me and this experience has been significant for me and I appreciate what, oh, that we had this time together. And so, you know, he, I think that was, uh, because it, and, and it, I think it was largely his contribution because it, the, I remember a few people out of the side of their mouth said, this is a TV script, you know, that it was somehow too pleasant, you know, too friendly in some way. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they realize there's something in the DNA of it that is classic, you know, and definitely that Sandy is so fantastic and I'm so lucky to get paired with Jack Warden. And, you know, oh, all sure, Peter friends. Boyle? Peter Boyle. I mean, oh. speaking of young Frankenstein, I mean, that's young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein. That's Peter Boyle. Yeah. Well, sure. I went on to do a couple movies with him, yeah. They're just so great and I, such so graceful and all those guys were, and so I... I always think of them as my ancestors in a That's way. Pretty cool, man. A couple of uh, Spaceballs questions. Uh, true or false, it was rumored that Mel Brooks wanted you and Daphne Zuniga to get back together and do a, a sequel. Is that true? Well, you know, he put it in the movie. You know, he's, this is for Spaceballs 2, the search for more money. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. So he's, you know, that's deep philosophy, you know, that. My, Right. <laughs> Let's name it. We need more money. But uh, I think, uh, yeah, I uh, would certainly be great. But uh, I, I think, it, you know, it's hard without candy and, you know. Of course. And that was the other question. Is it true that he that he um, ad-libbed his famous line of that's going to leave a mark? Is that true? Uh, that's going to leave a mark. Yeah. yeah. Was that, did he ad-lib that or was yeah. that in the script? Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. Man. I, th I, I use that still today. <laughs> My friends and I still use that. But today. Candy, it's it's a quintessential John Candy. It's so off the cuff. Mm -hmm. It's so gentle humor. You know, it's not banging over your head. It's mm -hmm. just like, and he he was a special. You know, he danced with comedy as just this lightest graceful thing. The sweetheart, know? right? I never obviously was ever around him. What yes. was that like to be around him? Yeah, it was just my, you know, it was my second movie and I was, he saw me as a guy in need and he took me under his wing. What and, do you mean? Well, you know, it was yeah, on the lot of the MGM lot, one of the last movies that was made on that lot as when it was still MGM and you know, busy, and I, I was off the farm practically to, in his eyes. You know, he saw that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but he would uh, I'd go, he'd say, Come on, you want to go, you want to have lunch in my trailer? You know, and things like that. And mm -hmm. what's, how are you, are you happy? You know, what's going on? You know, so he, he looked out for me. That's so cool. And you got that gig out of Ruthless People, right? Is that how it worked? You were Ruthless People, and then to, well, Mal movie. said he tried to get a Tom. Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise, and he couldn't get a Tom, so he got a Bill, <laughs> <laughs> which I think always amused him. You know? In other words, you're from nowhere, man. And I was really from nowhere. Right. And he and Ann Bancroft came down to see me in a play. Mm -hmm. You know, they saw me in this weird, abstract uh, Barabbas, this uh, medieval passion play kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Had a lot to say about it, you know. And, yeah, it was it was really uh, a special thing that he uh, yanked me out of the farm league. No kidding. See, I know a little about sports. That's, come on, Bill. Come on. <laughs> you, you know you you know what you know, man. And and again, we know you're in uh, the center tonight, ten Eastern time on USA Network. Currently in season four. Um, and um, like I said, we're huge fans of yours, man. Oh, okay. And thanks for thanks for coming in here. Well, really appreciate that. Really great to be on your show. Thank Chris. you so much for saying that. I know, Chris, you're, you're, do you do you want to do one line? I know you do. Like, you're desperate to do one line. Well, I I mean, was, then now I switched over and I started doing space ball lines in my head because I could quote okay. that movie beginning to end. Like, on this ship you refer to me as, hey, idiot, not yo, captain. Okay, like, there you, you go. You got the lines backward. You know, it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, give me paw. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, like to do with my brother and sister growing up. Like, <laughs> love that. Do you get that a lot, or yeah. that's a first for you, right there? Give me no, paw. No, give me paw. I still remember, you know, <laughs> yeah. that was also, you know, because that was early for uh, uh, green screen, and we were doing in front in the Winnebago, and there's green screen. They were <laughs> we had to wear uh, sunglasses in between the takes, and he improvised that when we were in between a take. So he was not only saying, give me Paul, but he, he had sunglasses on when he did it. And I thought that was cool. Can we keep the sunglasses? 
but no, we, we had oh pizza. my god, pizza the hut and like well, Darth yeah, helmet. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean we're right, not we're just doing this out. for money. We're doing it for a bleep load of money. That's, <laughs> love it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. See, I told you we're fans. We're not just we're not just saying it. We're not just saying it. <laughs> Thanks again for coming here, man. Ah, this has been you. great. Bill Pullman, everybody, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Everyone, check out the Sinner again tonight and every Wednesday, 10 Eastern time, on USA Network. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.